So welcome everyone uh, to this webinar on how to help more clients. As Paula said, I do like an interactive presentation. Uh, so if you do have questions as we're going, please feel free to put them in the chat and I'd be happy to answer them. There will be an opportunity at the end for questions as well. Uh, and if you want to um, put that there, then uh, I'll wait to the end, then I'm happy with that too. So let's get a start. So a bit about me, as Paula said, my name is Jeremy Stratton. I'm a lawyer and an entrepreneur. I've been a lawyer in, I live in Brisbane. So I've been a Queensland-based lawyer for a little over 20 years now, and I um, have run my own business for a little over 10 of those years. Uh, so I started my law firm, uh, yeah, 10 years ago as a, uh, you know, because I thought I could do it better <laughs> than the uh, inner city Brisbane law firm that I started in. And, you know, I learned a lot about business over those years. And I've actually transitioned, as, as um, Paul said, I, I don't really do uh, much legal work anymore. I do, do a couple of things, but um, for my law firm, uh, but I really focus more on the business, business advice and business consulting uh, because we can actually help more people. And I want to help lawyers to really understand what they need to do in their business. So today's presentation is um, how you can help more clients. And it's something I'm really passionate about because what I see, it, the people that I work with and the lawyers that I work with and even the other business owners that I work with is that they want to help more people and they don't know how about to do that. They don't know how, how to go about doing that. They don't know what to do from um, a business point of view of what to do. So we've got um, some areas that we're going to talk about and I'll go through those in a minute. Uh, but we are you know, really passionate about helping helping clients and helping you to help more clients and to, and to help the ones that you have even more. Uh, so I'm going to talk about a, a few different concepts. But I want to start off with um, this statistic. And that's that it's six times cheaper to get repeat work from an existing client than to get uh, so it's, yeah, it's, and then to get um, new work from an old client. So it's really, really important that we're getting that work done. Uh, another way to think about that is to think about it as for every $20 that you spend getting a, a new client or getting work from, from a new client, uh, or sorry, for, from an existing client, for a new client, it's $120. And that's a study that was done back in I think like the, the 1980s by Bain Consulting. And it's actually held true for, for all these years that, that um, it's really that six times cheaper to get repeat work from an existing client. So what I'm gonna go through today is uh, the five key metrics that you need to understand in your business. Uh, and then those five key metrics and how you can adjust them, we'll go through that in a moment uh, to really help build a business. And I'll, and I'll show you some um, simple tweaks that you can do around those. I'm gonna talk about some tips for meeting with referral sources because most legal work comes from referral sources. It comes from either existing clients referring you to, to, a, to a client or from someone, but you know, depending on the type of work that you do, someone who's already got your client. And so I wanna go through some tips and tricks that we have around meeting with referral sources. And then I wanna talk about uh, a product that, that we have called the Business Legal Lifecycle, which is about helping business owners to understand their legal risks. And, it, and go through how that can actually help lawyers to help their business clients to get more work. So that's the, the three parts that we're gonna go through today. So 